Well, welcome YouTube friends and family to today's edition of the Wellness Homesteader. So you'll notice I'm in the same clothes as I was on Friday because, <clears throat> and I still am wearing no makeup, but I, I got hungry. I got so hungry. And so I was kind of going through my fridge, seeing, okay, do I need to dehydrate anything? And having not gone to the grocery, now I did go to the food pantry once, but I have not been to the grocery for a month. Yay. Um, and I'm kind of getting down to the bare bones. And I thought, let me just see if I can throw something together with what I have on hand and something that I can share with mom because she enjoys home cooking and is certainly not able to cook anymore. Now my mom, <laughs> oh my word, <clears throat> she swears everything I make is too spicy. So if I were making this just for me, I would be putting jalapenos in it or something like a lot of garlic, something like that. But after my tummy troubles, <laughs> this is really like the first food food that I've had in three days. So I'm like, mm, yeah, you probably better go easy on it. Jalapenos are probably not the best thing. So what I did, what I have here in the pan is I had like four slices of bacon that definitely needed to be used and half of an onion that was sadly neglected in the back of the fridge. So I put those into a pan and I'm just gonna render all the fat out of the bacon, get it nice and crisp. And then I'm out of cornmeal, but I had a Jiffy corn mix. And my good friend Gay over at Apron Strings, and if you have not subscribed to, your, to her channel, y'all need to go out there. She makes the most fabulous food and she also cans and freeze dries and does all this fun stuff. But anyway, she made some tomato bisque soup and some broccoli cornbread on her video that, well, I watched it today. I, it might have been up yesterday. But anyway, she put a little of this and a little of that, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot. So, I'm gonna render up this bacon, and then I had this can of Steam Crisp Niblet Corn. I wanted to share with you a little device. I know it's no spin January, but <clears throat> we're almost through with that, right? I got this at Walmart for like 97 cents and you put it over the end of the can so you can drain the liquid out. So much easier than having to use like a whole nother um, sieve or something like that to get the liquid out of a can of vegetables. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish rendering up this bacon and then I'll bring you back here in just a moment. It's taking a little longer than I thought and show you how I'm going to doctor up a very inexpensive, under $1 Jiffy Corn Muffin mix into some delicious treat. So stay tuned. All right, well, our bacon is rendered. So what I've done here is put into a mixing bowl the eight and a half ounce Jiffy Corn Muffin mix. And the box says add a third of a cup of milk and one egg. I'm gonna put two eggs in, really for two reasons. One is my eggs are small. It's, you know, whatever the food pantry has is what I get. And they were really small this time. And I don't want the cornbread to be dry. Then to that, I am going to put in yep, a whole can of niblets. And I didn't mention this. This actually expired December of 2020. Sometimes our food pantry will ask if you mind something like due to expire will you eat it and it's still perfectly fine so i i will take a portion of that and then here is my rendered bacon and onion it hurt me to drain it <laughs> it hurt me it hurts me to throw away bacon grease but um i don't need all that fat honestly and my mom is the tiniest little thing y'all wouldn't believe it i really have to get a video with her. So while I'm yakking, I also have some um, sharp cheddar cheese, just great value brand. And cheese makes everything better. So I'm going to put, I don't know, a package. <laughs> no, that was a little better than a cup in there. And then I'm just going to spoon it in. But anyway, back to my mom. My mom weighs about 90 pounds. Now, I'm a, not a tall person either, but my mom's about 4'10". So but she's tiny. She's just really, really tiny. She's never been on a diet in her life. I mean, don't you just hate that? 
So sharing a little funny about me, because I'll tell you guys everything. My Lord, I told you I had diarrhea, so I guess I can tell you this. I thought this morning, yes, I literally only had toast, nothing else for three days. Um, and not a lot of toast either. So I should lose a ton. No, no, I didn't. I was so bummed and I thought, well, that's a rough way to lose it anyway. But um, I was quite disappointed that I only lost, I don't know, like two pounds. So um, yeah, I'm excited to get back on my eating plan actually, because I've kind of strayed through the holidays. And I'm sure bacon and cheese <laughs> and bread is probably not super healthy, but I find it so much easier to diet for me in the summer because I can just walk out the back door, pick my lunch. Um, I eat a lot of salad and very little meat when it's hot, so it just naturally is a lower calorie diet for me, but Right now, there is like nothing um, in the grocery store that's locally fresh. I'm sure they've got imported from like, you know, California or a warmer climate. Climate, oops, you gotta throw at least one big glob on your stove. I've been making soap this morning. I'm halfway through that 75 bar order, so I am gonna get this done. Okay. Yeah, a lot of it on the pan there. <laughs> Let's not waste any of this. Top it off. And then I'm just gonna have to watch it and let you know how long it takes, but I will bring you back to show you what these look like. And I'll give you a shot of them here in just a second. Please don't judge my messy kitchen because I have been soaping all day. Look how delicious does that look? I think it's gonna be very little muffin and lots of goodies inside. So stay tuned. The box says 400 degrees, 15 to 20 minutes. So I'll bring you back. Okay, we are back. You all have to try this. It is so good. I don't know if it's whether it tastes so good because I haven't eaten for like days, but let me show you how beautifully these came out. And I actually did them about 25 minutes. I just watched them until they got golden brown. And I cut one to make sure it's done on the inside. And what I can tell you is this is savory with the bacon. It's got a nice smoky back flavor. Little um, taste of the onion, but that sweet, sweet corn has just made it delicious. Mmm. Put too much in my mouth, didn't I? So do you have a variation on Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix that you'd like to share below? There's so many possibilities for an inexpensive um, pre-made mix and it's actually quite good. So you don't always have to cook completely from scratch. <clears throat> when your pantry gets low, you'll always have that Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix if you keep a couple on hand. So I hope you all will stay safe and warm for those of us um, in the path of this upcoming snowstorm and as always be healthy be well be blessed and i'll see y'all real soon take care